What's up, everyone? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and welcome to it's a it's a divisional playoff total chaos is what's going on right here. I'm excited about this. All four of the NFL games going down this weekend. I'm asking these two expert handicappers, are they going over or under the total? Whoever gets the most correct comes back next week as the total chaos champion. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. But before we get started, everyone like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget about my official sponsor, Caesars Sportsbook, all right? Uh, up to 1250 bucks in a risk-free first bet for all new accounts. All you got to do is download that app and then use my promo code Woodful. That's going to get you hooked up with Caesars. All right, Sean Higgs is here, everybody. How's it going, Higgs, with a record of 84, 86, and 2? How's it feel to be back? I was feeling good until I saw my record. I'm like, ugh. That's not a bad record at all. Yeah, it is for me. I don't have that's a that's a sub five hundred record. Come on, my NFL this year I'm thirty four and fourteen in my NFL total seventy one percent. So I'm expecting a four zero sweep today. Okay, well, it's your shot. Now's your shot to redeem yes, yourself. Yes, Rodney Molina, I haven't seen you in a while either. You've got a record of two and three. How do you feel about being back on the show? Well, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm doing great. Well, the record is kind of wrong. I beat Tim Earl last time. Like, Did four, you? One, Maybe I missed like, stats yeah, on that then. Yes, Maybe yes, this yes. was your first one and I yes, missed your second one. one. Tim, Tim Earl got sweat. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he told me that. I asked him. He's like, oh, he beat me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I can change your record right now. What was yeah, it? Four yeah. and oh? Four, four oh and one, I think, I believe. Four oh and one. All right. Mm-hmm. So now you're a six, three and one. Boom. How things are changing. That's Look at that. Look at that. All right. I apologize. Going. There we go. Okay, so let's get this party started. Now, Rodney, you're going to go first because technically you have the better record. So this is what's going down. We're starting it off with the Jags and the Chiefs. The total's 53. Rodney Molina, does it go over or under the total? I think it's going to be more like the first The first time um, this season when they met was 27-17. KC is going to pass the ball. Jaguars got the 28 pass defense. Um, it's going to be a lot of passing, and um, and the only way Jaguars is going to stay in is just to keep play keep away from um, Pat Mahomes. So it's going to be a lot of running from the Jags, and a lot of passing from from KC. And once KC get a, gets ahead, they they're going to run the clock out. They're going to just going slow it down, like they like they've been doing. So I'm thinking this game goes under. Under we go. All right, Higgs, what do you have to say about this one? <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm against you, Rodney. I think this is going to be an over. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game. We had um, well, Holmes turn the ball over. They had 490 yards of offense in that game, and I agree with you. It wasn't close. It was uh, you know 27 to 10 until halfway through the, th- the fourth quarter to make it kind of a close game. But I think coming in, I, Lawrence, a great second half, but a lot of interceptions that first half. So I don't think he's going to have a clean game here. He turns the ball over. He fumbles often, led the league in. Uh, fumbles lost with nine fumbles lost. And as I mentioned, Casey's going to put some points on the board. Got through for 5,000 yards, right? This team was like, people talked about, it. they might not make the playoffs without, they're going to put up a 30 something spot because that defense is just terrible. And the Kansas City defense is not all that great. Jags are going to put up some garbage points here. They'll get to a 20. Uh, I'm going to go over. I mean, I, I would like it better. I was, it was actually 51 and a half the other day. So now it's kind of creeping up, which I don't love, but I'm, I'm going to stick to the, my original thinking and go over the number. A lot of money's been coming in on the over, mm-hmm. um, so it makes sense. All right, Giants are at the Eagles. 48 is your number, Mr. Higgs. This is a stone-cold under for me, man. Listen, Hurts, uh, I don't know if Hurts is hurt. I mean, he he. I get it, taking off the cobwebs in week 18, 17, whatever the heck, let, the last game of the year when they played, you know, they had these games. I'm all confused week-wise with bye weeks and extra extra <laughs> It's like, you know, it needs to be nice and easy. Go 12 and 4, 16 games. Anyway, uh, so who knows how he's going to be? I, You know, he starts out slow. The Giants are going to want to run the ball. Philly has a defense. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of running. You know, Miles Simons, the guy went through 150 yards in uh, the, the 40. I don't think it's going to be 48-22 like that game, but I think it's going to be a lot of running. I think it's going to be a lot of clock churning and churning and churning. I think Philly's still kind of getting their – Wing the wind under their arm, their sails, I guess, you know, what hurts <laughs> coming back. I mean, he was out for a couple weeks. You don't just fly in. He looked terrible in that game against right. the Giants. I mean, come on. That, 
Uh, and the, would the Giants look good against the, the Vikings with that defense? Come on. Philly's got a defense. That's why they got 15 wins or whatever the heck they have on the year. So there you under go. the 40. And they played an easy schedule. Rodney, what do you got on this one? Yeah, um, Giants look good against Minnesota because Minnesota, come on. Like Big Sad is like, they, they garbage. Um, last row teams, uh, last time, seven and three to the under when these head to head these teams meet. So I'm with Higgs on this one. There's going to be a lot of running, and Jennings Hurts is still trying to get it together. He's rusty. Um, this game goes under. All right. How do you feel about the Bengals at the Bills? This one's a 49. Rodney. Uh, Buffalo, four straight 30-plus games. Four straight 30-plus games. Buffalo gave up 23 to New England. Buffalo gave up 31 to Miami. Um, Ridiculous. I can I can only I can only go over in this game. I think that's said it all, really. <laughs> what do you got here, Higgs? No, I agree. I, and this is I, the, the talk this week, and the lines moving up based on guys being out on the offensive line for Cincinnati. That's fine. The line is still better than last year's line. They gave up fifty sacks, and and Burrow was mauled. They went to the Super Bowl and they put up points. They're going to put up points here. The, the, yeah. You know, Buffalo. I'll tell you what, Von Miller's playing, you get some pressure on him, it's one thing. They get zero pressure. He's going to find receivers. He's going to put points on the board. Josh Allen's going to put points on the board. 49 over the total. I have heard that there is going to be wind and rain, though. That could contribute to an under. I'm just throwing that oh, out. Yeah, well, yeah. Dep- you know, if we're getting a lot of wind. Weather. Yeah. The wind, the Weather. wind, the wind. I don't mind about rain and snow, but really, rain in Buffalo in January. Well, well, they got a... a a heat wave coming to town? <laughs> What's going on up there? <laughs> Maybe it was snow and wind and not rain. I live in Vegas. I don't even know that snow is a real thing. Okay. It's like this mythical thing that I see on Hallmark movies. Um, okay. <laughs> What's a snow? Where do I get one? Okay. So Cowboys are at the Niners, 46 and a half. It's uh, to you, Higgs. Finish us off. Under the total here. Uh you got two good defense here. Forget them. I mean, Dallas is getting a lot of like, well, they were had a couple bad ones in the middle of the season. I think people forget that this team at one point were like, wow, this is a Super Bowl type team. And they were really dominating people with Cooper Rush, a quarterback, the defense. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's all the defense. You're going to, you're going to give up some points. You'll give up some points here. Um, but I, I'm going under, I have Niners got a solid defense, rookie quarterback versus Dan Quinn defense. I think we're going to see an under there and Dallas, Dak, and we got Jekyll and Hyde here a little bit. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's going to be four interception Dak, but is he going to be five touchdown Dak against a pretty decent? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's going to be under. Yeah, that Bucks team wasn't a good team. I think that's they a terrible just, they're team. coming off of looking really good against a bad team. And that's, you know, so that's that could be a problem. But the good thing with that is, is that the team they're playing is people are so high on because they are came out of, what were they had, like two or three wins and all of a sudden – Brock comes in five, six straight for the rookie. So MVP. it's not like they're coming in off a bad, you know, looking bad. Yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, but they haven't played the toughest schedule either, you know, at the end of the day, the Niners. No, okay, no, sorry, yeah. Rodney, it's on you. No, 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 no. Like they're this coming one, out of this Seattle, one. you know. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> yeah, Rob, uh, Rob Purdy is not going to be um, having success against this defense. This defense is number one in takeaways. Niners is number two in takeaways. Um, it's going to be more of a run, more of a running thing, because they're going to try to put it, put that in jeopardy, put that in on his on his arm to go against them boys, and he's going to be under a lot of distress with the pass rushes that Dallas have. So I think it's going to be more of a ground and pound game. And I'm with Higgs. Uh, this goes under. Under we go. All right, guys, that was your round of NFL total chaos. If you want more bets out of Sean Higgs, his premium plays, head over to picksandparlays.net. Use our promo code NFL to save you 20%. I'm looking on the leaderboards now. Higgs, you are number three for the year in the NFL. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, I just whoa, saw whoa, you. Whoa. No, that's, that's, that's just, that's oh, just it's for the two they- weeks of the season, please. I am number one by a country mile. That's true. That's true. And that's and, I, and not only picks and parlays. That is any sports betting site. I went through them all. And he said, other, no one's had a better. I and I was doing a show with Kyle Hunter today. I'm like Kyle. I don't like talking about it because I'm so freaking good this year. But I, I'll throw it out here on Total Chaos because it's not like a real free pick show where it's like, hey, this is kind of like an off the cuff 
free pick show for me. So I'm going to hype myself up and be like, nobody's better yeah. this year in NFL. They're not. It's a, it's yes. a fact. No one's got a better record. Than That's me. excellent. You're also number six on the site overall out of all of our cappers for, you know, all the time. You are number six on the site too. So people, if you want to buy premium plays, especially for a big weekend like this, I'm sure you got some premium plays up on all four of these games this week. Use They're that promo up. code NFL. Go ahead. Locked and loaded. 127 and 76. 127 that's and 76. 60, yeah, talking 67%. That's not like uh, like 30 games or something. No, we've been firing like a Gatling gun all year. <laughs> money. Money, baby. Rodney Molina, tell the people where they can find you and your free picks. Uh, you can find me at Rodney Molina 88 on Twitter. Um, and also in the handicapping page. And Allie. Fix yes. that. I also beat Teddy Edelman. Teddy that. Edelman. Yeah. yeah. I so feel like a horrible is, person. My record like, is a little better than that, too. You know what I mean? He said he won a rematch, but I, I give him that. You know, I wonder, if I go into my NBA chaos page, because I have you guys, I have you three and two in NBA chaos, and that's when I think you faced Tim Earl. So that, or maybe that was Terry Edelman. Anyway, the point is, I have you in different banner right, sections right, of my right. deal That's it. i just don't five. have you all gushed together with all your good stuff. job all right i'll work on it i'll work on yeah, it thank you. um all right guys thank you so much for joining me good luck to everyone out there um for this divisional playoff weekend and like i always say may the best capper win <laughs>